What's up, everyone? This is Asian Dave. Uh, I'm going to put a helpful video up um, how to um, take an MP3 that you currently have or iTunes music file and create a ringtone for your iPhone device. And this is uh, based off Windows 7, so if you have a Mac, I don't have my Mac going right now. I just do this on Windows because it's uh, pretty easy to do. So real quickly, um, what I'm going to do is you got to do one setting real quick on the folders. So here's a here's a process that you go through, and I'll explain why this is relevant in a, just a moment. Go to Control Panel, uh, go to Appearance and Personalization, Folder Options, and then you're going to go to View, and then you're going to uncheck this box right here: Hide Extensions for Known Tile uh, Known File Types. Click Apply and OK, and then go ahead and close out this box. Now choose the song you want. I'm going to just choose the song by Bruno Mars uh, to make a ringtone for my phone. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to choose the song, right click it, and go to Get Info. Now you're going to have to go to Get Info, and then you're going to click the Options tab. And you're going to see a start time and a stop time. So the stop time is 3 minutes, 40 seconds, 6.28. So what I like to do is I like to just write this down on a piece of paper or on this little notepad here so I know when that song ends because i got to fix, i got to uh, revert the song back to that timeline when I'm done with my project. So I'm going to go, I know that I want the first few seconds up to 39 seconds. So that's 0 seconds, stop time is 39 seconds, I'm going to press OK. When I do that, now the song, even though it shows up here as 3 minutes and 38 seconds, will actually stop at uh, the 39 second mark. And let me show you what that does right here. Right about. Okay, I'm going to let it play through. Okay, so now the song stops at 39 seconds. Now you're going to right click the song and create AAC version. So basically I'm creating a duplicate version that is now, as you can see, 39 seconds and it's in the correct format. Now I'm going to right click that file and go to show in Windows Explorer. Now this is where that changing the file or showing that file extension is relevant. So now I can actually see, instead of uh, just seeing this title of the file, I actually see the extension. Now I am going to change that extension to .m4r. That's the that's an uh, I, iTunes recognizable ringtone extension. So it's going to ask me if I want to change it. I'm going to change it, and then I'm going to double click it. When I double click it, it puts it into this ringtone folder, and as you can see, now it's playing as a ringtone. When I sync up my iPhone. I will have that option. Uh, actually, all the ringtones sync to my iPhone. So when I go to ringtones, sync all ringtones, it will actually sync that new uh, file, so I can select it as a uh, as I so I can select it as a ringtone for my phone. And I can attach it to somebody. I can attach it to somebody. So when they call in, it it pulls up. Um, so that's how you do it. But we're not done yet. So we're gonna go back to music. And now we have a few files to fix because now we've altered that file. So I'm going to choose that file and I'm going to first delete the 39 second version because it's no longer relevant. But I have to change and fix this file. So I'm going to go to Get Info, I'm going to go to Options, and I'm going to reset the timeline that it once was, which is right here. So I can copy and paste this, which would be easy or I can type it in, it's up to you. But that fixes the song so it doesn't stop at that timeline anymore. And now the song will play all the way through past 39 seconds. So that's how you create an a iPhone ringtone for your iPhone. And you can have lots of fun with that and choose the songs you like, create ringtones for certain people uh, that have that personality or reminds you of that person. but. You can basically take any song from your library and create ringtones uh, non-stop. So that's it. Hope this video helps. Any questions, send me an email to my link. And uh, we're gone.